Discovered in 1860 within the astounding Valley of the Kings, the Atlantis Ring has since proven to have been a most incredible of finds. Not only for the secret, sacred geometry that was found to have been inscribed upon this seemingly insignificant clay ring, but also for the strange, seemingly reoccurring pattern of curses or good luck talismans wrapped around the entire magic of this once incredible yet now lost civilization. Once discovered, it was said to cast a protective spell upon those who wore it. A supposed positive energy force that although as strange as that of the curse of Tutankhamun, is one that is far less mentioned within the career and discoveries of Howard Carter himself. This, regardless of the fact that it has since gone on to be an incredibly popular mass-produced product, once kept secret for many years by Carter himself. Also now sold under the claim that it does indeed emit a powerful energy field around the wearer. The science behind these claims we cannot claim to understand. However, the ring's modern popularity, along with the lack of coverage regarding this possible legend within the discussion of Howard Carter's career, we have found peculiar. Featuring two triangles, six small and three larger rectangles with a semi-cylindrical form, it was originally found by Marquis de Grain. A blueprint of the ring was soon sent to Carter himself, who made and wore a secret replica which he kept himself until his death in 1939. In 1922, Carter would discover King Tut's tomb. Before opening the tomb, hieroglyphics above the tomb's unbroken seal were read. It said, The wings of death shall touch all who violates the Pharaoh's eternal rest. Unperturbed, they opened the tomb, discovering treasures beyond all of their wildest imaginations. Yet, as warned, all who were involved in this discovery eventually met curious fates. With just Carter himself left, the one person who was undeniably the most guilty party in the entire excavation. He would not die until 17 years later, at the reasonably young age of 66. During these 17 years, however, the flurry of media attention around the claimed curse persisted. Interestingly, whenever asked how he had seemingly escaped the curse for so long, he would always reply that he had a secret talisman, a good luck charm, that protected him from the curse. This initial cast of the ring Carter had made, it turns out, he seemingly knew of its incredibly important geometric significance. Yet it was not until 1940 while well, going through his documents that his studies and indeed rules of wearing the ring were revealed to the world. His talisman, a replica of the Atlantis ring, a relic many thousands of years old, originally made from Eswan and clay, like something out of a holy grail story. It seems the least valuable, seemingly most conspicuous of finds turned out to be one of the most, if not the most valuable to Howard himself. Out of all the golden wonders he had ever unearthed, this one, one which he didn't even discover himself, he kept closest to his heart. It is because of this that we find the Atlantis ring highly compelling.